what's happening everybody and welcome back you know guys to me it is absolutely clear that in 2022 we have seen a complete devastation of DeFi when it comes to tbl the market cap and everything has just plummeting right i mean we see the projects go down and that of course create a level of fud uh, fear uncertainty and doubt that we haven't seen before you know i mean a really long time right and i know a lot of projects that we cover some of them that you own and i own are terribly down but I haven't lost faith in some of them, in most of them, right? The ones that I own, the ones that I continue staking. And what is that one project out of many that I consider that's going to have a huge comeback because of everything that it stands for, what it does, the utility, NFTs, and more? Yes. Coming from Kronos Chain in the top five by TBL, that will be MMF Finance. And what you're seeing right now, it's a... Uh, well, it's the result of what the holders feel it could happen later on, right? As we know, the top price for this one, almost $2 right now. It reached, what, $0.03, cents, $0.02? Cents? Insane. And I didn't want to say anything when we were looking right, right about here, you know, passing middle of June. Uh, we got a nice pump, which is like, okay, good, consolidation. But this, everybody, to me, is like, okay, here's there's a message behind it. As you can take a look here in the volume, guys, immediately realizing one thing. There's a lot of conversation, and you see so many influencers out there providing thoughts, and including myself, about the bottom, about when's the comeback, about are we going down. And we all have, you have the right, everybody has the right to give their opinion, right? So one of the, I will consider, insights that we can see if indeed the whales are considering that the ones that are going to be providing a bunch of uh, liquidity is by looking at the DeFi stats. And guess what? First and foremost, the prices here from Dex Screener, everything's starting to look green. I remember those good days back in 2020, uh, early 2022, right? It looked like this, but it looked three digits, two digits. And I'm seeing right now two digits for some other projects, which is really feeling very pleased. Take a look at um, DeFi Llama, green, and the month change, red, which makes sense because we're still, you know, in a downward spiral right now when you open up in a full macro view. But the seven day, the one day, we we'll start to see the positives. And Kronos still at eight, but now it was close to 114. Now it's coming at almost close to 140 billion. So the point of the story is there's going to be many projects in DeFi out there. I just mentioned uh, very recently in a live that Uniswap just passed Ethereum, the entire blockchain, which is insane, or the entire coin, right? Um, in, in fees, which is insane, which is nice. It kind of means how people really appreciate and want to do DeFi and put the risk and add liquidity and get more money. And that is why. I'm seeing here on the website that from 78 million or so that MMF had, now we're looking at approaching 100 million. Note, I know from 1.65 billion to less than 100 million, that's a big drop. That is why I started by saying the fear, guys, as we're seeing right here, is huge. Still it is, but it's much better than last week, right? So there's many great projects in Kronos that we own. And MMF right now, out of many that I own, it's pumping really nice. And we're looking from the middle of June all the way to today it has just passed, according to the four hour chart on this one, 143, 153 percentage growth. Nice. This is really good. Why? Well, let's go ahead and squeeze a little bit. This is a 100% retracement. So we need to get back here, which is going to be looking at 23 cents finally coming close to the 50 cent range so there's still a lot to do i'm gonna go ahead and bring my price range right about here and there you go 223 more so this is a message for all chronos holders for all DeFi holders it's coming back little by little this does not happen by accident everybody this i like it am i gonna see a sell-off right after this Chances, there's always a chance for that. There's always a chance for a sell-off. I'm not saying like right about here, but it, it's a it's a kind of it's like a different type of volume I'm seeing right now. We already bought them really bad right now. I we could see more consolidation as we saw here, but this is something very nicely that we're having because it does mean that buyers are coming in, holders are coming in, and they're holding 
what they want here on MMF and continue pushing forward. There's other ones like Tectonic also putting nice updates and VBS Finance holding the line as the number one protocol in Kronos because as you know, they have a nice vault system that just prevents anyone from withdrawing, which in a way helps a lot of the entire system, right? Here, they're putting a lot of different updates when it comes to mediums, when it comes to news, uh, to all the holders for MMF. So I like that a lot. And it's an entire ecosystem, MMF. I own just a piece of it because I'm, I mean, I'm not going to do everything, but um, it's just a lot of things that they have. And if I go ahead and click on balls to see what's going on this one, I do have, of course, my MMF right here and adding, of course, soon the crow. So I get grab crow, which is going to be fantastic with an MMO. And we're going to be taking a look at what's this. Now, the APYs are completely down, of course, because of the price of the token. But we still have some nice Savannah MMF, MShare MMF, which if you're looking into 1000, that's what you have. Now, are they going to come back when, you know, the prices are looking much better? Chances are they are. And uh, some of these much more risky tokens, they're the ones that are giving you even more APY as usual, right? So we're looking at this at some of the MMF crow. And if you, of course, want to be extremely protective, well, you always have your liquidity pools of stable coins to protect against impermanent loss. As of now, this is how it stands. Close to 1 trillion by market cap. Let me tell you, we go back to 1 trillion this weekend. It's going to be an amazing message for Kronos Play, for the entire cryptocurrency um, community. I think it's going to be really good, honestly, because coming back to this, it's been a really difficult situation, everybody. I think everybody understands how we have, you know, suffer a little bit when it comes to just seeing our gains and seeing all of our investment just go down the drain for months right now. It's just been all April, May, June. So we're ending June. We're coming in, in, in July. Will July be more bullish or more bearish or just neutral? Well, as of now, it does seem that we're heading into a nice sideways trading territory where we're no longer dropping clearly we're now bouncing back and staying at a level i do not think that it's going to be a complete reversal and we're going to be back to the sky i think that will be kind of like weird for cryptocurrency because usually that takes a while to do when you go back historically speaking but i wouldn't be mad if we see that so mmf it is one that is winning right now you see the price pump I love it. To all Crohn's holders, what do you think? We're still holding the line. Some of you are buying the dip. Let's go, everybody. So we're going to be fine, guys. Chill. And I'm very happy to see this happening. I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.